Hey guys, it is your girl Miranda and I'm back with another video and I have another message for you guys. And I was just actually sitting here just, you know, journaling and praying and just talking to Heavenly Father. And, you know, I was just asking him, you know, a couple questions and things that I was reflecting on with, you know, my own journey in my life as well. And I'm, you know, just asking him, like, why is it, you know, when you're doing things right, when, you know, you're just trying to be a light in a dark place and be a positive influence, there's always somebody, as soon as you, you know, get to a certain level that comes and, like, wants to steal your joy and wants to criticize you and ridicule you and say all these bad things about you and you know they want to debate with you and do all these things and heavenly father you let me know and he said you know he was telling me that those people the reason why they do that is because you have what they don't have and so a lot of the time people will talk bad about you people will attack the same exact characters and the same exact characteristics that you have in yourself that they don't have in them and that they wish they had and so it's you know easier for them to attack you and be mad at you because of the things that you're doing and because of the things that you have you know and I don't mean physical items or monetarily wise I mean characteristics your you know your light your positivity your energy what's inside of you because always remember what's in you they can't take they can't steal they can't have they gotta build it up just like god built you up just like god led you just like god guided you just like god established your footsteps and gave you the courage and the confidence to do a lot of the things that you're doing they have to go to god to receive those same things too if they want it because we're not going to get it by talking down to someone or talking bad to someone. And a lot of the times, the same person that could help them is the same person that they're upset and angry and mad at. And I remember many years ago when I first started my walk in Christ, years ago, I was listening to Ron Carpenter. And in one of his sermons, he said, your perception of others is what you will perceive. So whatever your perception is up here, in your brain, in your mind, that is what you're going to receive. And we know that the brain is the battlefield. The brain, the brain is powerful. It is extremely powerful. And that's why the battlefield is in the brain, it's in the mind. Because once a person is corrupt up here, once their mind is gone, then the enemy knows I can take a hold of everything. I can have everything. Because that's what makes the body operate is the brain. Why do you think people, when they become brain dead, what typically happens to their body? The other parts of their body don't function right. That's why the brain is the most powerful thing. That's why they say that, you know, knowledge is power. Because what you know, what you acknowledge, <laughs> 
is powerful. Where your attention goes, where your attention flows, what you're acknowledging, what you're not acknowledging. It is extremely powerful and important. And a lot of people don't understand that and don't know that. And so when you're strong mentally, you're more dangerous than a person who is physically strong because that person who is mentally strong can strategize. If you haven't read the book, um, there's this book, uh, what is it called? The Art of War. It's a really, really good book. I would recommend you guys read it. And pretty much, I don't wanna give it away and tell you guys everything, but it lets you know how powerful your brain is and how powerful strategizing is. And a lot of people who go in the military, you know, they're asked to read that book because that's how powerful it is because they need to be strategic and have strategies. Yeah, they need to be physical, you know, equipped and physically strong for the battle but they need to be more smarter, wiser, have more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And a person who is mentally strong and who has their helmet of salvation on, who can block those thoughts, who can block those distractions, who can block out that negativity, they're going to be harder to break. And so, don't worry about your enemies. Don't worry about your haters. Worry about keeping your eyes fixed on what's in front of you. Continue to be steadfast. I don't know who this message is for, but I pray it blesses you guys. I love you, and I'll be back with another video, Elohim willing. Bye, guys.